Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and can we just take a minute's silence, as the Google Now launcher may soon be no more. And that's because there's been some leaked emails from Google that state that the Google Now launcher will stop appearing on the Play Store at the end of this quarter for 2017. Now it will still get updates in the background if you've already got it pre-installed, but with an application with over 50 million downloads and also being the go-to launcher for anyone that wants to cover up any sort of skin or overlay on top of Android with what Google intended with a really awesome launcher and great material design, what does this mean for the future? But just taking a quick step back, what exactly is the Google Now launcher? Well, as Google put it, it's the best way to bring the best of Google to your home screen. So direct from Google, what they're saying is this is exactly how they intend Android to look and feel and how they think it should be used. So if that's how you guys want to do it on an HTC phone, a Samsung or a Sony, this is the best way to go to get that stock look and feel without having to use any sort of third party launcher. And for a time, it was my go to launcher for Android. I just love the fact that it was very simple, really easy to use, had really awesome Google Now integration as well, and just looked stock Android, which is exactly what I want on my Android device. Now, if you're quick, you can still install the Google Now launcher directly from the Play Store, as it does still appear on there, and also in the emails and things that are floating around the web at the moment, Google has stated that they will still update the Google Now launcher, and that's probably going to be through the Google search application as well, so if you've got the launcher installed on your device, it's not like they're gonna forget about it altogether, it's just they're kind of shying away from it for newer devices. But at the end of the day, does that really make too much difference to Android as a whole? Well, let's discuss. For me, the Google Now Launcher was the easiest and quickest way to get stock Android, or at least what looked like stock Android, on any device that I was using. Now, whether that was a Samsung phone running TouchWiz or HTC running Sense, if I wanted to get a stock look and feel on my device, I'd head straight to the Play Store and download the Google Now Launcher straight away, and then everything would look exactly as I wanted it to. And I know what you're thinking, well, why wouldn't you just buy a Nexus device? Well, for a certain period of time, maybe around when the Nexus 6 was out, there were actually phones way better like Samsung devices and even some HTC devices that in my opinion were a little bit better than what we were getting from Google and also things like camera, the speed and just in general some additional features and things as well worked out a little bit better for my personal preference. So for me, Nexus really wasn't much of a choice. I haven't been using a Nexus device since the Nexus 5 which in my opinion was one of the greatest Android devices of all time but unfortunately they kind of went downhill and now they've got the Pixel Ranger phones out which is a completely different story. Now don't get me wrong, I know that the Google Now launcher isn't the perfect launcher. Certain things weren't necessarily that great and there were maybe some bugs here and there that did get sorted relatively quickly but it didn't completely sort out any Android device. As you can see here, if I swipe down to my notifications, yes I've got a theme on there that makes it a little bit more like stock Android but it's still running TouchWiz in the background. If I head into the settings or just in general look through my applications you're going to see a load of s applications on a galaxy device for instance which again isn't necessarily the best and that wouldn't come with stock android now certain things have been updated with the google now launcher that do make it a little bit better in my opinion so you can't install custom icon packs however it will do its best to see what icons you've got and kind of update them if it needs to so for me things like my contacts messages and camera icon that would normally be stock with a samsung device using TouchWiz have been automatically changed but it is a bit of a shame that you can't use any third party icon packs to kind of just get yourself immersed even more with stock Android. However, it's not all doom and gloom for Android as you can get the Pixel Launcher and install that on any and well, actually no, you can't. The Pixel Launcher, unfortunately, as you can see from this screenshot is exclusive to the Pixel line of devices. So again, you're gonna have to use any sort of third party launcher or just the launcher that comes with your device for the meantime. Now, that's not necessarily the best thing in my opinion. And I'm sure that Google has their reasons for not putting the Pixel Launcher on all Android devices like they did with Google Now but it is a bit of a shame that it's going to be a bit harder to get stock Android. And I say a bit harder, but again, it's not really. If I just head into my applications, you can see here that I've got an app called Nova Launcher, and this is the best thing. And that's because for the longest time, Nova Launcher has been one of my go-to launchers, and I know that it's the case for a lot of other people that use Android as well. Now, this is because that Nova has been really awesome with keeping up to date with new features that Google are bringing out on their launchers, and then being able to integrate that with any Android device. Device. So that's a really awesome way to do it and in my opinion it's probably one of the best launchers if not the best launcher available on the Play Store at the moment. 
Now what I'm going to be doing then is just going into Nova Launcher and setting it as my default launcher as moving forward especially on my Samsung Galaxy S7 here that's going to be the best option for me to keep that stock Android look and feel without having to run out and spend a bunch of money on a new Pixel device. But as with all of the videos that I do here on Copper vs Glass these are just my opinions and I want to know what you guys think of Google possibly getting rid of the Google Now launcher in the future. Let me know in the comments section down below or on Twitter just to give your thoughts and opinions and feedback on the Google Now launcher and if you think it is a good or bad move and if you don't use the Google Now launcher let me know which launcher you're using down below as well. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe to get some more awesome content in the future and also hit the notification bell so that all of my new videos go straight into your sub box. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.